A ductile material having an endurance limit of 200 megapascal, yield strength of 300, a stress under the variable load, the maximum and the minimum stresses are 150 and 50. From this, we can calculate the mean value and the amplitude value. The fatigue stress concentration factor is to be applied to amplitude stress is given as 1.3 factor of safety using the Soderberg criteria we have to find out. According to Soderberg criteria, 1 upon factor of safety is equal to mean stress divided by SYT plus amplitude stress divided by endurance strength. In this case, we have given the value of endurance limit is equal to SE which is equal to 200 megapascal. And the value of SYT is given as 300 megapascal. And the maximum stress sigma max is given as positive value is equal to 150. Similarly, we have given the value of sigma minimum that will be equal to 50. So we can calculate here the mean value is sigma max plus sigma minimum by 2 that is we have 150 plus 50 that equal to 200 divided by 2 is equal to 100 and amplitude stress is sigma max minus sigma minimum by 2 which is equal to 150 minus 50 that is equal to 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50 so just substitute and solve it we have 1 divided by factor of safety mean stress is equal to 100 SYT is equal to 300 plus amplitude stress is equal to 50 and we have endurance strength equal to 200. So we are not taken here the stress concentration factor Kf that equal to 1.3. So this value you have to multiply it by stress concentration factor. So it is multiplied by 1.3. Now you solve it and find the value of factor of safety N is come very close to 1.51 a machine component is subjected to fluctuating stresses from 100 to 150 so sigma max is 150 sigma minimum is equal to 100 corrected endurance stress of a component is 300 ac value given ultimate tensile and the yield strength are given as 700 and 500 you have to use the soderberg criteria according to the soderberg criteria one of upon factor of safety is the mean stress divided by SYT plus amplitude stress divided by SE. We have given here the value of endurance strength SE that is equal to 300 megapascal and we have required the value of SYT we don't require SUT that is equal to 500 megapascal. In addition to this we have given the value of maximum stress sigma max out of 100 and 150 maximum value is equal to 150 and the minimum stress is equal to 100 megapascal so to solve for this equation we require the mean stress and amplitude out of that we have mean stress equal to sigma maximum is equal to 150 plus minimum stress equal to 100 and whole thing is divided by 2 250 divided by 2 is equal to 125 then the amplitude stress will be sigma maximum which is equal to 150 minimum is equal to 100 and again divided by 2 50 divided by 2 is 25 put this value back and we can find out the factor of safety so we have 1 upon factor of safety is equal to mean stress is equal to 125 SYT is equal to 500 plus amplitude stress is equal to 25 and we have endurance strength is equal to 300 solid you will get a factor of safety n is very close to 3 a machine member is subjected to fluctuating stress sigma is equal to sigma 0 into cos of 8 times pi into t the endurance limit of the material is 350 if the factor of safety used in the design is 3.5 then the maximum allowable value of sigma 0 in megapascal we have to find out now we know the cos function here is a purely alternating so if we draw a graph of stress versus time we have given here a parametric form so we'll put the value of t equal to 0 
then correspondingly we have cost value will be equal to 1 and we have stress equal to sigma 0. So we'll start with sigma 0. Then at t is equal to 1 by 2, this will become 4 pi. So you will get a curve something like this. So you are getting here cost curve. So we have a amplitude stress will be equal to same as equal to sigma 0 and we have mean stress will be equal to 0. Factor of safety we have to use as 3.5 and we have endurance strength SE is given as 350 megapascal. So we can use the SN diagram. So on x axis we will plot the amplitude stress, y axis we will plot the number of cycle. We have material strength SM, then we have endurance strength SE and this value of SE is same as equal to 350. Corresponding to the endurance strength, we have a life of a component is 10 to the power 6. Now this zone here, which one is below the endurance limit representing the factor of safety is greater than equal to 1. So somewhere will be the amplitude stress. And therefore, we have factor of safety n is equal to SE divided by amplitude stress sigma a. We have factor of safety is equal to 3.5 and we have endurance strength SE is equal to 350 and the value of the amplitude stress is same as equal to sigma 0. So exactly we are getting the value of sigma 0 is equal to 350 divided by 3.5 is equal to 100 megapascal. So completely reverse you try to solve the problem by SN diagram and if the mean stress value exists that you can use any of the theory. Even you can use the Soderberg theory here but a solution already prepared here. You can try for Soderberg. You can put the value of sigma m equal to 0 and you will get almost same equation. In a structure member under the fatigue loading, the minimum and the maximum stresses develop at the critical point is sigma minimum equal to 50 and sigma maximum equal to 150. Both are positive in nature. The endurance yield and the ultimate value are 200, 300 and 400. This time we have to use the Goodman criteria. As far as the Goodman criteria is considered, we have mean stress divided by SUT plus amplitude stress divided by endurance strength is equal to 1 upon factor of safety. Endurance limit is equal to 200. So we can use the value of SE is equal to 200 megapascal and we have to use the value of SUT. So only collect the data that is required to solve the given equation and we have SUT is equal to 400 megapascal. And we have given the value of maximum stress that is sigma max is equal to positive 150 and the minimum stress is, is equal to 50. So to solve the equation of Soderberg we required only the mean stress and amplitude stress. So very quickly we can calculate here the mean stress which one is maximum plus minimum by 2 is 150 plus 50 that is 200 divided by 2 is equal to 100 megapascal is maximum 150 minimum value is equal to 50 divided by 2 that is 100 by 2 is equal to 50 put this value back we have mean stress is equal to 100 value of SUT is equal to 400 plus we have amplitude stress equal to 50 and we have endurance is equal to 200 on the right hand side we have 1 upon n. So you will get a factor of safety is close to n is equal to 2. A thin pressure vessel of 200 mm diameter 2 mm thick. So pressure vessel is designed on the base of the hoop stress and which is given as pressure multiplied by diameter divided by 2 times of t. Internal pressure is varying from 4 megapascal to 8 megapascal. So we need to calculate the maximum stress corresponding to the maximum pressure and the minimum pressure. SUT, SYT and SE are given. We have to use the Goodman criteria and we have to find out the factor of safety. 
According to the modified Goodman line, we have sigma m divided by SUT plus sigma amplitude divided by SE is equal to 1 by n. In this case, we require the value of SUT and we have given the value of SUT is equal to 800 megapascal. Value of SE is also given that equal to 400 megapascal. Now we need to calculate here mean stress and the amplitude stress that can be calculated from maximum and the minimum value of the hoop stress. The diameter of the pressure vessel is D is equal to 200 mm. Thickness T is equal to 2 mm. Maximum pressure is P max out of 4 and 8 is 8 megapascal. And we have minimum pressure is equal to 4 megapascal. So design is based on the hoop stress. So we'll calculate here hoop stress, the maximum value. That is the maximum stress is PD divided by 2T. So we have pressure, which one is maximum pressure multiplied by diameter divided by 2 times of T. So we'll get this value as 8 diameter equal to 200 divided by 2 times of thickness. So we have 2 divided by 2. This one is mm. So we have 1600 divided by 4. That is very close to 400 megapascal. In the similar way, we can calculate the minimum stress. For that, we required hoop stress is pressure minimum multiplied by diameter divided by 2 times of t. Minimum pressure is equal to 4. Diameter is same as 200 divided by 2 times of thickness that is 2 mm. So we have 800 divided by 4 will be equal to 200 megapascal. So this one is the additional part you require some time. We are familiar with the how to calculate the mean stress is max plus minimum is 400 plus 200 that will be equal to 600 divided by 2 is equal to 300 megapascal. 400 that is a maximum minus minimum is 200 divided by 2. 200 by 2 is equal to 100. Put this value back here. We have mean stress come out to be 300. So we have 300 divided by SUT. SUT is equal to 800 plus amplitude stress is equal to 100 divided by endurance strength equal to 400 equal to 1 upon factor of safety. Solve this, you will get a factor of safety n is very close to 1.6. A machine part in the form of cantilever beam is subjected to fluctuating load as shown in the figure from 800 to 600 Newton. So minimum force is known, maximum force is known and because of this transverse load, the bending stress will produce at the fixed end will be the maximum bending moment and therefore we develop the maximum bending stress. The modified endurance yield an ultimate are 200, 500 and 600. The factor of safety you have to calculate using the Goodman criteria. For Goodman criteria, we required equation is a mean stress divided by ultimate plus amplitude divided by SE is equal to 1 by n. Out of that, we have endurance value is given as 200. So we have SE is equal to 200 megapascal and here we required SUT ultimate value. The ultimate value is equal to 600 megapascal. Let's say here the width is equal to B and the depth is equal to D. This one is the neutral axis and we are interested here in the maximum bending stress. Let here L represent the value of length of a cantilever. So it will develop a bending moment in an anticlockwise direction here. That value will be equal to M is P multiplied by L. So one time we'll get a maximum bending moment. Second time we'll get a minimum bending moment. And since the bending stress is maximum, so you have to measure the distance from the neutral axis. That will be equal to Y and this value of Y is same as 20 by 2. That is a D by 2. For this one we required I. I is equal to BDQ divided by 12. 
so if we have a 800 then it will be the minimum value of a bending stress produce and the minimum value of the moment produce so we have so we have sigma minimum will produce if i use the minimum bending moment so that formula is same as equal to m into y divided by i so we have m should be minimum value multiplied by y divided by i in this case we have minimum bending moment will be equal to p minimum because length is remain fixed phi is remain fixed even the moment of inertia is also remain fixed so we have minimum force is 800 into length equal to 100 y value you have to take as d by 2 that equal to 20 divided by 2 divided by bd cube we have b is equal to 12 depth is equal to 20 you have to make a cube of it divided by 12 solve this you will get the minimum value of a bending stress the minimum value of a bending stress come out to be is 100 megapascal in the similar fashion we can calculate the maximum bending stress the only difference is that we have to use the maximum force multiplied by l multiplied by y divided by i so maximum force is here is 1600 into l is equal to 100 y is equal to same as d by 2 is equal to 20 by 2 and the moment of inertia is same that is 12 into 20 cube divided by 12 so this value is just double than the previous value that will be equal to 200 megapascal once we know the minimum value and the maximum value we can calculate the mean stress which one is sigma max plus sigma minimum by 2 we have sigma maximum equal to 200 sigma minimum is equal to 100 divided by 2 so total we have 300 by 2 is equal to 150 megapascal the maximum stress which is equal to 200 minimum stress equal to 100 divided by 2 so we have 100 by 2 that equal to 50 megapascal so almost everything is ready now we can use modified goodman line so let's substitute for mean stress which is equal to 150 ultimate stress you have to use equal to 600 plus amplitude stress you have to use equal to 50 endurance limit is equal to 200 on the right hand side we have 1 upon factor of safety n so we'll get a factor of safety n according to modified goodman line is close to 2 a machine component is subjected to fluctuating stress that varies from 40 to 100 so minimum value is equal to 40 maximum equal to 100 corrected endurance limit is 270 ultimate tensile strength is 600 and the yield value is equal to 450 you have to solve the problem by using the goodman line factor of safety how to find out using the goodman line the modified goodman line equation is given as sigma m divided by sut plus amplitude divided by endurance equal to 1 upon factor of safety corrected value of endurance strength is se which is given as equal to 270 and we require the value of sut that equal to 600 so we have sut is same as equal to 600 and he has given the value of maximum stress sigma max is equal to 100 and the minimum stress sigma minimum is equal to 40 so solve this equation only term required is mean value and the amplitude value so the mean value will be sigma maximum plus sigma minimum by 2 is 100 plus 40 divided by 2 140 divided by 2 is equal to 70 sigma amplitude is sigma maximum which is 100 minus sigma minimum equal to 40 divided by 2 that is we have 60 divided by 2 equal to 30 now we can substitute here the mean stress equal to 70 ultimate stress equal to 600 plus we have amplitude stress equal to 30 endurance is equal to 270 
on the right hand side we have 1 upon the factor of safety n. So according to modified Goodman line we have factor of safety n is come out to be 4.39. The video you are watching is from the app which is the more class app available on Google store and in this app we will cover all subjects involved in mechanical engineering for GATE. Join the course directly from your mobile. The link is given here.